Capricorn, hello, welcome back, or welcome if you guys are new to my channel. My name is Jazz, and this is another general reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Friends, if you guys are here and you guys are new, make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure that you guys smash that like button because it helps push out the channel so we can find more family members and help bring them home so all y'all little monkey butts can have fun here with me. I love you guys. So let's get started, Capricorn. This is going to be a you versus them reading. We're going to see what spirit needs you to know in regards to the person that you guys are here for. Now, these you versus them readings, they do not have to be in the realms of love, all right? I want you guys to understand that this can be a coworker, this can be a friend, this can be a family member. Um, put that energy out there so you guys can um get the messages that you need uh, amongst all walks of life here right because the energy that you guys uh give on to me is the energy that i will read for you so if you guys want more messages that have a little bit of diversity allow yourself to embrace that so let's go ahead and see what wants to come through for capricorn you versus them for capricorn you versus them for capricorn spirit shows what we need to see here Oof. Unfinished symphony. Something ain't done. This is number 10. This is a cyclic energy here. Something is not done. Bottom of the deck is message in a bottle. Um, so, you know, this... Just just for like face value here, there's somebody that really is wanting to express and say something. They feel like something isn't done, even though I feel like you may feel like something is done. Top of the deck here is number 45, breaking down to a nine, um, but it talks about time to go. And then you've got the here and now, past, future, with in the present moment, what is your decision? It's like, what is your decision here in the present moment? This top of the deck energy combined with the bottom of the deck energy. What is your decision in this present moment? You talking to this person, you having a conversation with this person. What are you choosing to do? Where are you choosing to go? You know, what decision are you choosing to make? And that that's going to be up to you, to be honest with you. That's going to be up to you, Capricorn. It's going to be different for everybody it's going to come across different for everybody but it's almost like there's a cycle that you're dealing with with a certain individual with a certain energy um that just seems to keep playing over and over and over again in your head and this person may even be look at this yeah six of cups six of cups this is past life energy. Um, this is giving somebody that you've spent time with, somebody that you know, but there is this energy of the inevitable. This is this energy of a decision. This is an upheaval, right? And it's almost giving like, are you able to evolve past this here, Capricorn? Are you able to evolve past this? So this unfinished symphony is dealing with a connection. Like somebody is truly wanting to pull you back. Right, I do, I'm, I'm getting like, it's like wanting to, yeah. Eight of Swords. There's somebody that's wanting to pull you back. Spirit is asking you, are you going to allow this inevitable change, this difficult situation, this energy to evolve with the natural flow of the universe, judgment energy? Because this is exactly what Spirit's saying. It's like, we are going to evolve with the natural flow of the universe. Are you going to allow that to happen or are you going to be pulled back into this BS? Right? Because it does seem like somebody is reaching out telepathically with this message in a bottle. So if this is a friend or if this is a lover, this could even be you feeling like something's calling you back, like calling you back. Like maybe there is a, a specific job that you guys are dealing with and you like, oh my God, I just feel like I keep going back and doing the same shit over and over and over again. Maybe it's time for you to stop those patterns. Maybe it's not even somebody that's actually saying something to you. Maybe it's you feeling it and it's your intuition empathetically picking up on other people. You've got the sun. You've got the page of wands and you've got the motherfucking tower. I'm telling you, this is truly like basically it's, it's asking you to break out of fear and allow this tower to fall. Allow this 
this ending to actually happen it's inevitable it's it's about to happen you know this is something that is sudden it's a change and it, it's about the revelation that's happening within yourself more than anything else capricorn okay and this is about the separation that you truly hoped for in order to come into um a blessing that you want right a blessing that you need a blessing that you've been praying for, a desired blessing, right? And this is having a lot to do with your foundations, your stability. All of that's going to change. All of that's going to be upheaved and, you know, kind of shake, shaken up because you're going to be finding, like on the flip side of this, on the other side of reality, you're going to be finding a soulmate, a partner, a, you know, a connection, a job that makes you feel good, that brings you the blessings, that brings you the money, that brings you the love that you've been looking for. But it's are you hearing this? Are you hearing this call? For some of you, birds are becoming very important. Pay attention to the birds that are in front of you, that are flying in front of you, that you see, that you hear. Pay attention to that. Because there are messages that are being drawn to you. Yeah, Ace of Swords, the Emperor, and Four of Swords. So you have two fours here with the Ace. So again, talking about stability. Talking about, you know, your home life, your family. It's Cancerian energy. It's fourth house energy. This Aries energy, this is also about yourself and how you view yourself and where you're going and what this means for you. Are you ready to end these cycles? It's about the completion. You've been through enough, right? You've been through enough, enough. Enough is enough. Because this person, right? This person is trying to pull you back. This person is on the opposite side of the spectrum here. And for some of you, especially if you're like battling this internally, all I'm going to say is don't let your, your ego mind pull you back from keeping this tower from falling. Yeah, the wheel, the wheel is turning. All right, show us what we need to see here, please. Spirit in the realms of this other person with this energy. Show us what we need to see in the realms of this other person with this energy. The Six of Cups, Page of Wands. You have the world. Tell us more here for this other person with unfinished symphony that Capricorn is dealing with. The magician, justice, king of swords in reverse. This person isn't isn't saying anything. This person isn't very open about, you know, what's going on. Hi priestess. I I It's almost like I'm feeling like this person is hoping for a turnaround. Like, this person is very much, like, hoping for another chance. Um, and I do feel like this person is reaching out. I do feel like this person is reaching out. I do feel like this person is trying to say something here. This is about This is about trying to complete a cycle here, trying to manifest a new cycle here, right? Justice is about balance and equality and about the truth. So it, it's about trying to bring about that into one's life, right? Trying to attain said new cycle. 
but with this person not being very open, not saying anything, being closed off. Again, that's why you're picking up on their energy telepathically. They're sending this energy to you telepathically. Seven of Swords. Let's see. Tell us about... Um, Tell us about the world here for this person. The Hierophant. Tell us about the Magician here for this person. The Devil. <clears throat> Capricorn Energy. Tell us about Justice. The Hangman. It's like this person is trying to figure out how to come back without doing so. This person has a lot of fire, a lot of passion. They very much are attached to you here, Capricorn. But the cycle seems very repetitive. This is also giving like a silent getaway. A silent exit. For some of you, this person realized... Um, that things needed to change within themselves as well. <sighs> That's intense. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What do we need to know for Capricorn and this person? You deserve love. What do we need to know for Capricorn and this person? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. And engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I feel like what's happening here is the both of you forgiving and learning at the bottom of the deck. Past life relationships. Stay optimistic for yourself. I feel like you both are kind of moving in your own direction here. And you guys are ascending and growing and learning from this connection. Um, I feel like there is a lot of telepathic communication between the two of you. Um, Capricorn. But... There's a toxicity that lies here that needs to be released. I'm just going to say that. Leave this here. I love you. I appreciate you guys, and I'll speak to you soon.